A lot of big hits and bigger eliminations in the first half of the very first semi-final in the custom joust. And a big chunk of the ramped vehicles were taken down. Hi everybody, welcome to the Junkyard Joust. Let's take a look at who remains. Midnight Smilers and Team Beaverworks are hanging on with one car each. Numbskull and Resurrection have two. Color Crash have five. Dream Island Destroyers have only one. The German Fighter down to two and everybody else has three remaining. Let's joust. Color Crash gonna start us off with Nuclear, sponsored by Brendan Walsh and driven by Rally X. Nuclear slips underneath Evil Weevil and sets up the ramp. Randomized running order is up. Next up is Skykick for Opaque Break, sponsored by Judy Collins, driven by Aviva. Skykick is gonna slot in behind Nuclear. Color Crash has yet to lose a vehicle. Will that change in this round? Boom Boom Bonnie for the Splatter Family, sponsored by Sloth Automotive. Boom Boom Bonnie, wow, that was a big boom indeed, and Skykick cannot take the heat, smashes into the crates, pieces flying off upside down, that could be it for that car. Sunny side up for Big Al's primary objective, sponsored by Mukau Horse Farm. Boom Boom Bonnie way down at the bottom of the hill, bounced really far back, and Sunny Side Up can just barely get underneath. Boom Boom Bonnie stays on the track, a strange development here at the beginning of this round. F-Racer for the German Fighter, sponsored by Judy Collins. F-Racer slams into Boom Boom Bonnie. Boom Boom Bonnie close to going sideways. Sideways or upside down at the end of the round, you are out, but that looks about 45 right now. Ramp Rod for Resurrection, sponsored also by Judy Collins. Ramp Rod slams into the line and firms things up a little bit. Sunny Side Up almost goes up and over, but manages to stay Sunny Side Up. Hey, a car not sponsored by Judy, it's Hall & Gas, sponsored by Farty Marty for Numbskull 2. Numbskull slips into place, starts to get underneath Ramp Rod, and that is going to be trouble for Resurrection. Just kind of creeps in there. Teardrop Takedown Machines, final entry for Dream Island Destroyer, sponsored by Mark the Music Lover. Teardrop drops into place and does not go off the ramp. Whoa, a bunch of stuff just flew off. I don't know what that was. Teardrop takedown has to stay alive. Agent Y also has to stay alive for Beaverworks, sponsored by Brendan Walsh. Agent Y, wow, that was a great recovery. And Teardrop takedown machine taken down. Beaverworks eliminates the very first team in this match, assuming it stays upside down. Agent Y, nice recovery. George is the final car for the Midnight Smilers, sponsored by Reaper EOD. George hits the jump on the back of Numbskull, and could this be our second team eliminated? Unless there's some sort of miracle, Smilers might be out of the match. With 10 teams in the match, it was bound to happen sooner than later. Lepton now, sponsored by DYW Production Labs, driven by Kitty Reno. Lepton doesn't take the jump, bounces back a little bit, and sets up its own ramp. Screaming Speedster for the break, sponsored by DYW Production Labs as well, driven by William. Screaming Speedster screams and speeds into oblivion. Upside down, no recovery. That is big trouble for Opaque Break. This car was great in the qualifier, and to lose it is going to be a problem. Here comes Zoom and Zach, 173 grams, sponsored by Hendrick's Heavy Hauling. Zoom and Zach eats up the field. Zooms under most of the cars on the track and leaves devastation in its wake. Lepton hits a height of six on the way up, but somehow makes a recovery for Color Crash. Somehow only one elimination on that hit, and it's gonna be Ramp Rod for Resurrection. Lepton survived, and Holland Gas made a nice rollover. Dr. Black MD, sponsored by Milo's Motor Menagerie. Dr. Black goes off the back of Zoom and Zack. Flips over and makes a beautiful recovery. Great landing. Might not be able to break that ramp, but if you can survive it, that's great. Salt Flat Racer, sponsored by Mukau Horse Farm. Salt Flat Racer clips Lepton on the way off of Zoom and Zack, flips it over upside down, finally an elimination for Color Crash, and Salt Flat Racer takes itself out on the way, sideways and done. Fearamid coming down, sponsored by Sloss Automotive Sachet and Buffet. And that was unexpected. Fearamid actually scoops up Boom Boom Bonnie on the way down the hill, pushes Boom Boom down the side of the track, and then kind of settles in and manages to avoid Zoom and Zack's ramp. Bonnie also unharmed. 
Nitro Door Slammer, sponsored by Beaks Busted Barn Finds. Nitro Door Slammer, what a strange bounce off the back of Pyramid, but what a great recovery. I think a recovery for Nitro Door Slammer. That looks about 45. Shifter, sponsored by Farty Marty and driven by Mom. Shifter drives straight underneath Pyramid, lifting it up in the air. I don't think we've seen Pyramid in this position before. This could be bad news. Still, it's gonna be hard to get that thing flipped over. La Melt, sponsored by Milo's Motor Menagerie, driven by Rachel and Caroline. La Melt slots into place. The Pyramid too heavy to do anything. Sets up a bit of a ramp. Gearhead Glenn, sponsored by Star Corpse Industries. Gearhead Glenn goes off of La Melt, starts to slide Pyramid sideways. It gets a little lower. Glenn can't quite escape. Here comes another big one, Lemon Wedge, 195 grams, sponsored by Jason's Bits Boys. Lemon Wedge does the unthinkable and takes down Pyramid, flipping it over completely. There is no way that thing is coming back and no one thought it could even be eliminated. It was. So was Lamelt, and so was Shifter. And that right there was a triple takedown. We knew we'd get a triple takedown eventually. Ion 2, sponsored by Chicken Rings, Onion Wings, driven by Gingy. Pretty tame hit by Ion 2. Nowhere to go with Lemon Wedge wedged in there. It looks to me like there are three teams eliminated so far in this round. And Color Crash has taken some hits. Creature Breacher, sponsored by Sloss Automotive, driven by Dad. And that's exactly what you don't want to happen, unfortunately. Creature Breacher takes out Ion 2 with that gentle little tap. Somehow still just rocked it. And that'll be another elimination for Color Crash. Rough round for them. 11 eliminations in that round. And I just realized that we've had yet another team eliminated. This was a tough round all around. Let's take a look at the aftermath. We have to say goodbye to the Midnight Smilers and Resurrection. Numbskull and Color Color Crash are both at two, but Color Crash lost three in that round. Numbskull stayed steady at two. Beaverworks stayed alive at one. Dream Island Destroyers and Opaque Break were eliminated. Splatter Family and Big Al steady at three. German Fighter lost one down to one. We'll start round four off with the Splatter family. Gearhead Glenn, they had a great round despite all of the eliminations everywhere else. Splatter family came out of that round looking fine. Big Al came out of that round with no losses as well. Dr. Black MD takes a shot at Gearhead Glenn, but no dice. Hauling Gas glides into position, setting up a ramp. A lot of vehicles that neutralize ramps in this match, so we haven't seen a whole lot of high flying action. Case in point, Nuclear does not go off the back of Numbskull's ramp and just kind of sets up its own potentially. Perhaps I spoke too soon. Agent Y takes the ramp, flips around a couple times, can't quite make that recovery happen, and Beaverworks is probably out of this match. Another team falls. German Fighter just has one left, and it survives. Lands on top of Agent Y, manages to pull it in and stay alive for another round. Hits the crates flat and brings it back. And now Zoom and Zack, whoa, Zoom and Zack actually goes off the back of the Holland gas ramp. And Nuclear, ooh, can't quite make that recovery happen, flips over and Color Crash could lose another car here. And it looks like the front of Zoom and Zack bounced up a little bit after hitting Nuclear and couldn't get underneath Holland gas. But you know who can get under Holland gas? It's Sunny Side Up, slides right underneath that ramp, effectively neutralizing it. And this forces Nitro Door Slammer to slide it underneath his own teammate, but it doesn't do any damage. Sunny Side Up now going under Dr. Black, too. Creature Breacher joins the fray. Right now, the only survivor for Color Crash, unbelievably. Boom Boom Bonnie tries to end Color Crash and can't do it. Creature Breacher manages to pull it back from the brink. Nitro Door Slammer, though, gets tossed up in the safety area and eliminated. That'll be a loss for Numbskull. 
Lemon Wedge takes the plunge, and look at this. Holland Gas flipped right over. Gets stuck up on the pile of cars. Meanwhile, Boom Boom Bonnie hits a six on that hit and then manages to pull out a recovery. But Holland Gas got flipped over and eliminated, and that will end Custom Joust Champion Numbskull's chances for the second team. Two teams eliminated in this match. It is a volatile situation out there on the track. Four eliminations total. Let's take a look at the aftermath. Numbskull 2 and Team Beaverworks are out of the competition. Color Crash still in at one. Splatter Family and Big Al looking great right now with three remaining. And the German Fighter hanging on with one. Round five, here we go. Four teams left. One more has to get eliminated. Three of these teams will move on to the championship where they will have a chance to make it into the championship. F1 Racer with the takedown on Gearhead Glenn, but it looks like he's gonna make it, but then just kind of gets caught up on the track a little bit on the right side and flips over Dunn. Creature Breacher takes a shot at the F1 Racer, it just bounces back and lands flat. That'll leave the German fighter alive for another round. Dr. Black tries to eliminate Color Crash from the match, but Creature Breacher has a different idea, and that is survival. Almost gets off the track, it's just not quite there yet. Boom Boom Bonnie finishes the job. No eliminations on that hit, but clears the track completely. Dr. Black surviving in the safety area and keeping Gearhead Glenn at bay over sideways. Preacher Breacher survives. Lemon Wedge blows down the track and Boom Boom Bonnie is disposed of, flipped up in the air, hitting that heavy section of Lemon Wedge. Going over and catapulting off the track, lands upside down. Will it stay like that? Just one car left, it's Zoom and Zack. Lemon Wedge way back down by the hill. Wow, I don't even know how that's possible. Zoom and Zack just goes completely underneath. Barely even bothered Lemon Wedge. Meanwhile, Zoom and Zack tries to rescue Boom Boom Bonnie, cannot pull it off. And wow, what a round that was. Two eliminations in that round and they are both for Splatter Family. Zoom and Zack is the last car remaining for that team. A tough round for Splatter Family. Everybody else stays steady where they were at. Big Al still at three. Right now, Big Al having his way with the number one ranked Splatter Family. Color Crash still going. Round six, here we go. Big Al starting out with Sunnyside up this time. He goes right underneath Evil Weevil and parks down at the end of the track. F Racer tussles with Evil Weevil and goes in behind Sunnyside up. Does not do any damage. Zoom and Zack flies into the mix, and look at that. Sunnyside Up is turned over and out. F1 Racer is just balancing upside down. Looks like it's going to be done, and then it slides back into an upright position, and the German fighter stays alive. Zoom and Zack, however, oh boy, that does not look like a good position. Breacher Breacher writes Zoom and Zack, saves Zack from elimination. Splatter Family stays alive. He actually used that paperclip thing in the front to kind of rescue him. Lemon Wedge goes for the takedown on Creature Breacher, does not get it. Also does not eliminate Zoom and Zack. The safety rail protects him. Lemon Wedge bounces way back down the track again. Dr. Black is gonna have to come down now and be careful not to eliminate itself or Lemon Wedge. And Dr. Black does the job. Gets right underneath the back, but it's not enough to cause any damage. The audience on the sidelines looks on, fascinated by what's happening. That'll be the end of round six. One elimination on Big Al's team. They will be down to two. Everybody else is steady at one. We are still going, folks. Here we go, round seven. One of these teams has to get eliminated for the match to end. Big Al starting off with Dr. Black this time. Dr. Black parks in the middle of the track. The hit comes from Zoom and Zack, and it's bad news for Big Al. Evil Weevil gets tossed way over into the tires, but Dr. Black just barely floated over and out, upside down. Zoom and Zack trying to take Big Al out and make it to the finals. Creature Breacher bounces off the back of Zoom and Zack, does not go off the ramp. That thing on the front is really doing the trick, preventing the ramp. 
and then it wobbles on the edge of the track, staying alive for the moment. It looks like the tip on the metal of the ramp is just a little curved up there from all the hits. Fraser tries to take down Creature Breacher again and can't do it. Goes off of Zoom and Zack and survives. Right now, all the team's still in it. Here comes Lemon Wedge. Can Lemon Wedge get under? And yes, it can! Zoom and Zack gets thrown up in the air on top of Lemon Wedge and then flips over upside down. We've never seen this car like this, of course. It's never been eliminated. Didn't even know it was possible. Wow, what a takedown by Lemon Wedge. A shocking victory here. Splatter Family, rank number one, has been eliminated. They still have a chance. They will go on to the wild card and fight two other teams for the chance to get to the finals. But look at this. Congratulations to Big Al, Color Crash, and the German Fighter. They are moving on to the championship. There are your teams. What a battle. Hard fought by everybody who sent in teams. What a dramatic match. Unbelievable. Did not expect most of the things that happened. But that is the Junkyard Joust. Full of chaos, unexpected things. I hope you all had fun watching this. The next couple of Sundays, we've got a couple more Invitationals. First up is the Super Crashers Invitational, and then a very special Invitational where five teams will compete and only one of them will move on and be allowed in the season. Then after that, another custom match semifinal. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you next time.